Good afternoon. It might not be afternoon you're watching this, so good day to you wherever you are, whatever time it is. Alright, the purpose of this video, as you probably have seen in the title, is to help us accurately calculate the number of blocks, if you are not operating within Nigeria and some parts of Europe, the number of bricks that will be required to construct parts or the whole of your project as you see fit. So I'll be using this project as an example. It's something I did for my clients earlier this year, a really small four bedroom single unit building, as you can see. Okay, so I want you to understand that in order for you to do this, you need to be familiar with Akika attributes. So let's dive right in, very straight to the point, from the attributes. All right, so I'm going to go to the options here, and I'm going to click on element attributes, but that's not the one I'm concerned with. I'm concerned with property manager right here. Okay, and there is a specific property for that. If you scroll down this list a bit, you see that there is this called number of bricks, and it has an expression for it. Okay, so brick types, you need to set what brick types are you are using. Akika doesn't know, um, if I'm speaking in Nigerian terms, Akika doesn't know if you're using 5 inches block or 6 inches block or 9 inches blocks. And the quantity would differ depending on the type of block you are using. You understand? So for Akika, they are called bricks. I could rename this to block type and so on, but that's not the goal right now. Okay, so you need to set that up. And to do that, you are going to use a value. Don't leave it as undefined, specify a value. And you can see there's already a lot of standards here. None of these apply to what we use here in Nigeria. And in order for me to get a new one, I could check out the options and I could add a new one. To add, I'm going to copy, by the way, you see this X we have right here? You won't find it on your keyboard. So if you're typing in a new one, it's gonna be really difficult knowing how to do that. So what I choose to do is I pick an existing one and I copy it by tapping Ctrl C. You should see that on your screen. And then I add it to the list and then I do Ctrl V. Then I can rename it to what I want. So I'm going to name this as six inches block. Okay, then the length, the width, the height. Uh, I think it's the height the width and then the length of the block in which case this is going to be 450 mm this is going to be 225 mm and then this is going to be one uh, i think i aha uh -huh, 150 mm all right so akikad now knows that there is a block type that has these dimensions and it is going to know them as six inches block that is the first part of what we need to do here okay uh, i created a new option again and this time around i'm just going to copy this and paste it here but this time i'll be using nine inches here and this time this is going to be two to five all right so i'm gonna say okay and then i'll change the value to six inches block that's exactly what is utilized for this design all right available for classifications i want it to be available for all truth be told you don't need this majority of the time majority of time once you have custom you can choose where do you want it classified and as you can see here it's specific to walls so if you're going to try find that property for an item that is not a wall you are wrong all right so that's it i think i'm just gonna, i'm just gonna leave it here then i'm going to come back here mortar thickness you understand that if there were no mortar between blocks that's after one is laid the other one is just laid directly on top of it without that mortar to bind them together you would actually need more blocks than what we utilize in actual construction so the mortar thickness is a factor that helps Akikad to get it more accurately and for this you are going to define the value as a specific value don't go for options a specific value which i'll be tagging 25 mm all right so the data type is length it could be a number i'm leaving it as length and it is 25 mm then what comes next the brick height akikad picks that out of the expression that had been set here so akikad is going to look through all of these and realize okay 225 is the height and use that accordingly it's going to pick you understand same thing for the width same thing for the length and then for the volume the same it already has expressions that are used to handle that properly all right so now that i have these i'm just going to say okay and one might be wondering is that all no that is not all the next thing i need to do is move into the 3d space so i'm going to the 3d spaces because there are certain walls like this one and this one that are not on the ground floor level and there are some like this one that are below the ground floor level you can see i have a minus one story here so if i was to go into that minus one story level down here you're going to see these they are more or less considered to be the foundation walls and then 
there's also these above you're not seeing them because of their height so here they are and i think i can hide this for now this and this and this and so on and so forth they are the ones above one could call them parapet walls in this case some call i think there's a name i've heard someone used to refer to them and i can't remember if you have other names you could just mention them in the comments let me learn as well we all learn every day all right so i come into the 3d space and then i select the wall tool and i press ctrl a to select all the walls so like i want to do something and i want that in down to all the walls take note that this item here was drawn with a beam it's not selected the same thing to this one here so the idea is all our beams are reinforced concrete they are not the same thing as the normal block work so they are not supposed to be a part of this calculation i hope that makes sense to you all right so i'm going into the settings i could tap on this icon here i could double click on this wall here i could press ctrl t they all do the same thing in opening these settings and i'm not going to deal with the geometry i'm not going to do with the model i'm not going to do with any of these usual things we deal with every day i'm going to go specifically to classification and properties then i'm going to scroll down a bit and look for now one called brick type and measures you can see they've all been set to this the height has been set the mortar thickness has been set then one might be wondering what's going on i could also pick something else here by the way the reason why they were presetting to this is when i had um and i think that's something you might not want to do all the time because there might be projects where you have mix a mixture of six and nine inches block type all right so i didn't i left this to be specific if i had made it undefined then i have to define it for each wall so let's leave it at this for now okay so um select all of these again go into the settings and then scroll down a bit and it says it's undefined here and then i need to now set a custom value all right and the value in this case is going to be six inches block i hope that made sense to all of us then i say okay i might be wondering okay how does that translate into how many blocks it will take to build this building all things in good time all right so let's just drop this a bit you are now going to go to this part of the screen if you are not so familiar with this or your screen isn't looking at it here you're definitely going to find it by going to document and then you are going to go into um your schedules and then you're going to go to the wall schedule all right so it brings up this really long annoying schedule that truth be told i'm not sure if anyone uses i hope akika would help us customize it better for future purposes all right so i'm going to go into the settings for this schedule and take out the items that we do not need uh, i'm going to take out cost per volume oh uh, i think i'll leave that i'll add that as an, a small icing on the cake for this video so i'm going to take away the 2d plan preview we don't need that here the building material or composite uh we don't need that here as well um construction type not necessary fire resistance rating you know you could actually fill these in if they are important or if they are related to what you are trying to do all right if it's something your firm or your own um, personal practice needs you fill them in in my own case right now they are not necessarily useful and i don't want this so uh what's the word so congested that you don't get to see everything on the screen at once as i'm taking away as much as is not needed so i'm going to remove this i'm going to cost per volume position uh, i think i could leave pos no no i'll remove this but i'm going to add a new field and call it home story or rather than add a new field i'll just say okay and then eventually do that now when i say okay the list kind of drops a bit so i'm going to remove this classification we already know that they are all walls all right uh thickness heights i think we can leave these as is all right so by the way every wall you draw on akikad has an id that's what you're seeing right here okay so the perimeter is as the name implies how long it appears on the ground floor plan so the main thing we are concerned with right now is this thing right here the number of bricks that we are to purchase to build each and every one of these and when you go down you are going to see a complete sum now you can see that there's this one that says undefined there's this one that says undefined there's this one that says undefined and the question is why are they undefined well the thing is you can see an information tag here saying they're on a hidden layer so there was a layer which i probably didn't take into cognizance was hidden and oh yes the fence you see so i had done three small fences here okay so i'm going to go back to the schedule i'll ignore the fence that is missing okay um as undefined and you see that what is required for the building in and of itself the building alone is going to be 2637 blocks now there is a slight margin of error there because the foundation here is not as thick as it should be in actual practice when i say thick i mean like the depth from the finish and um, the site's floor level all the way down or as some would say, prefer to measure it from the oversight concrete 
or from the German floor, whichever name you are more convenient with, to the lowest part of the foundation. So if I wanted to get it as accurate as that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick all the items that I have on that floor. In order to do that, I'll be introducing another tool that a lot of people don't tend to use in Archicad, which is the Find and Select tool. I press Ctrl F to bring this up. All right, I think I'll be doing a whole other tutorial on how to use this tool because it's really something that is a lifesaver for me. So I'm going to search for wall, and then I want the story where the wall is selected to be referenced. So I want it to find all walls on the minus one story. And when I do this, it just tracks all of them out. All right, you see that it has these fences included, and well, I don't really mind. So what I'm going to do now is I'll deselect the fence first because I want to make an adjustment to their height and you can see that all of these are 450, the fence is 1.5. Okay, so I'm going to say I want this to begin at minus 900, that's 900 mm below the normal ground level. And I, by normal ground level, I mean like this finished floor level here, not like this floor, <laughs> the sides. It's well. All right, so now that I have this done, I can let it go. If you come down here, you see that we have a really deep foundation, more or less, over here, okay? So when we go back and check, you're going to see now that the values will be updated accordingly. It's now 3,309 blocks. So I'm going to take this one step further. I'm going to open the settings for this schedule, and I'm going to add to the criteria of what walls will be selected here, and for that, I'm specific with story. All right, so the home story, for that, I'll be going with those on the minus one floor, and I would say, okay. And what happens is it's calculating only the ones I use for the foundation, more or less, and they're going to be 918 blocks. This can be useful if you're doing your bill of quantities. You might not want to say exactly 918, but you are sure that even after counting damages and other factors that contingencies per se, you shouldn't be going beyond 950, 970 blocks. You get So it gives you a lot of accuracy in a very short amount of time. All right, so these are the ones just for the foundation. How do I get the ones for the others? So I'm going to just um, add to the name of this. I'll call it Foundation Wall Schedule. Please try to follow the course while I'm teaching. I might not always be slowing down to say, go here, go there, and so on and so forth. So I'm going to go into the settings, and I'm going to create a new schedule. But I'm going to use duplicate the existing one that I had made earlier, which is one I just tagged Foundation Wall Schedule. And I'll change the um, name to Ground Floor wall schedule and i will remove the copy in its name and say okay and i'm going to change it its own criteria for it to be everything on the ground floor then i'm going to create a third schedule okay duplicate this uh remove this from the name then call this parapet floor or parapet walls schedule whatever name works for you utilize it and then i'm going to change this to the ones above and say okay so this is the foundation 118 when i open the ground floor it's going to show us 2010 blocks and when i open the other one it's going to show us 381 blocks or bricks as the case may be all right so how about the fence one might be asking well i'm going to create another schedule just for that and this time i don't care about the home story i'm going to remove it but i'm going to say i want to pick walls that belong to a specific layer and the name of that layer is fence all right and then i say okay and mom i say ah they are not defined that's because when i had selected everything here the fences were not active to be selected so once i select the three fences one two three they could be much more in your own case this is just a really simple example so that the tutorial is not going to be too long i'll change this to let's assume we're using nine inches for the fence okay and then i say okay I can go back to that list and then I can see that we have a total of 314 blocks. Now, table that 9 inches are bigger than 6 inches. So, if I do 6 inches, we'll probably have more. And I want us to actually take a look at that practically. So, always try to make sure you don't mix them up. To get something as close to what you need as possible, use values that are close to what you're going to utilize in reality as close as possible. I hope my English is not confusing anyone. So, here we have 447 blocks. I hope this was really helpful to you. If you were able to watch up to this point, please leave a like. You can share to anyone you see you think might find this useful. Subscribe if you've not subscribed already. If you have any specific kind of video you want me to do or any specific thing you are finding hard in Archicad, type it in the comments or feel free to join our community. I'll be attaching a link to that on the bio of this video. And 
as much as possible just come in you're free to ask questions and in my free time i would answer and i hope we can be mutually helpful to each other for those who are able to watch up to this point i'm going to add a small extra for you all right so uh you can you know customize the schedule to look just the way you want you could change the colors of the text you could change the fonts okay you see and yeah i'm only gonna do more but it's actually going to take extra time and make the tutorial unnecessarily long so see you in the next one and by the way you can always flip this if you want all of these guys arranged this way you could always just click on this and yeah it ruins things a lot so don't do it often but if things are ruined like this and you still want them back to normal you know you're just going to have to adjust this one at a time and eventually you'll get there i prefer viewing them this way so bye see you in the next one